All right, coming from the last video I did called Good Black Men Are the Prize. The only real pushback I got from this one is coming from, I think it's Jay Took 32. Supposedly a guy, but has black female talking points. Talking about the problem would be solved if black women just dated out. I have two words for you. Bull shit. If black women haven't done it in 200 years, they're not going to all of a sudden solve their problems with it now. Even though the environment is suited for interracial dating, I've been trying to get you to mix for the last 80 years. And it's been resisted mainly because black women, let's put it this way, don't want to compete. They can't compete. It's obvious. Not that they don't want to, it's that they can't. They haven't been socialized to compete. So even though the vast majority of men in the country are white, or the vast majority of men in the country, the, the overwhelming majority of men in the country are non-white. Only 13% of the men in the country, actually only 12% of the men in the country are actually black men, considered black men. 88% are non-black. So. If 88% of the men are non-black, how come black women haven't successfully crossed over? It is because they have not been culturally socialized to compete in their arenas with other women for their men. It's not about looks, it's not about color, it's about socialization and culturalization. Black women for the last 200 years have been socialized in a de facto matriarchy. They've been socialized to be that way in opposition to a socialized patriarchy by most other cultures. They're in a precise opposition to it. Even Monaghan said, well, hell, even uh, Frazier said it back in the 20s. It's not a new phenomenon. Black women can't half, half the time get along with their own men, much less men of other races. Black men have been pre-socialized pre and pre-culturalized to actually get along with a black woman that has been socialized to have a matriarchal mindset, to have a dominant mindset. Other men have not, so there's going to be friction. And once they know about that friction, as far as socialization, they will have sex, they might even date, they will smash, but when it comes down to settling down and forming a family or a permanent pair bond, it's going to be far and few in between. Black women know this. It's not that they're that loyal. It's not that they don't necessarily find white men attractive, even though that does come into play. The mere fact is, is that uh, with black men, they already get a socialization discount. Black men, the vast majority are socialized and culturalized to be with black women. White men and other races of men are not. They are taught to be in charge. They are taught to basically be the dominant force in their relationships, which is what white women, the new white women that are feminized, complain about, is that their men are resistant to it. So if their men are resistant to it already, and those white women are not nearly as matriarchal as black women are, what do you think the odds of their success for black women to actually cross over in, in the numbers that you need for them to cross over? Not bloody likely, which is why black women are at the bottom as far as dating or preferential dating when you, in, when you actually add in the whole group. It's not because of looks, it's because they have been socialized in opposition to the dominant culture. So now you want black women to wholesale try to compete in an arena that they have never been taught to compete in. Are you bloody kidding me? Are you out of your bloody mind? Crystal and Karazin for the last 10 years have tried to re-socialize black women into dating other races of men. And she's not very successful at it because culture takes a very long time to change. Now, unless black women want to wholesale 
move out of the black community. I'm talking about single black women. Move out of the black community and, and into the white community and change their cultural brainwashing to adapt to the white community and to white men, their odds of success are gonna be very, very low. And it shows up not only in the dating pool, but also in the marriage pool. Because at the end of the day, the gold standard for all women is marriage. And out of 16 million adult black females in the United States, you only have 200,000 that are married outside of their race, which is about 1%. So 99% of black women have not hit the gold standard in spite of it never been, it never have been a taboo for black women to marry outside their race or date outside their race. Now J to 32, if you wanna put up a video or anything like that proving that I am wrong, I don't mean no anecdotal evidence, Anybody can come up with anecdotal evidence. That doesn't mean shit. If black women really wanted to actually date outside their race to solve their goddamn problems, the vast majority of the United States is white. And there's places where there's nothing but white men. And there's places where there's not, where the, the odds are so skewed in a black woman's favor for finding a white man, that's not ridiculous. If you move up north, there's nothing but white men and white men without mates. Move up to Idaho, move up to Montana, move up to Oodles and Oodles or other places where there's nothing but white men. You will find you a white man, how come you don't? It's because you already know that you are not socialized to adapt to white culture. And the safest, most pliable men on the planet for you is what? Black men. You, you don't even, you don't even date African men. African men have a hard time adapting to you. And these are men coming from the continent. Black American men have no problem dating and marrying African women. But the opposite is true for, uh, for black women and African men. I've heard that more times than I can count. You are not socialized to be with any other man except your African American man. And hell, if you can't make it work with him, a guy that a group that is already pre-socialized to be with you on any major way. Only a quarter of you are married to your own men that you can't even get along with. How are you gonna go to somebody else's group, to somebody else's playground and compete? Does that make sense to you? Are you hearing me? The proof is in the pudding. The, score, the proof is on the scoreboard. And this is in an environment where they're basically trying to sell you on interracial dating and marriage. Trying to sell you on it. Hell, you just had, what, two years ago, you just had what? You just had the uh, the Bachelorette. America is trying to sell you on white men and you still can't and won't do it because you already know that you can't get along with that white dude on any long-term basis. That's what it is. So J took 32. You got any problem with what I'm saying? Get your ass out and prove it, because I you're probably a black female. And all your other swirlers with all this bullshit, prove me wrong. Don't just talk it, prove me wrong. I'm not talking about no isolated incidents. I'm talking about a wholesale movement. They have to threaten black men on both sides of the aisle to stay in line, because it's so easy for black men to cross over. They have to threaten black men and white women to stay in line, because it's so easy to cross over. There aren't any restrictions against a white men and black women. There aren't, never have been. So anyway, spare me the drama, spare me the bullshit. Don't just talk it, prove it. Don't just talk about what's going on in your office, prove it. I live in Los Angeles where it's one of the swirling capitals of the country. My neighborhood is being gentrified. I can count on one hand the number of mixed couples uh, with, with, that have a black woman involved that I see walking around here. This comes from a guy that went to an integrated school. Not only integrated, but predominantly white school with black females. And in 50 years, I haven't seen very much change. In fact, it was reflected in the numbers. It's been 1% for 200 years. It probably has gone down since black women don't get buried as much anymore. The, the percentage has probably gone down. 
And don't give me this shit that black women are that loyal to their black men. Because they're not. Anyway, I'm going to jump off here. I don't want it to be too long because I'll start rambling and it'll take another hour if I get started. So I'm not going to get started. This is BGS out and I'll see you guys on the next one.